Our lives are shaped by those that love us and our lives are shaped by those that refuse to love us. The sweetest music that reaches to the highest heaven is the beating of two hearts that truly love each other. To love abundantly is to live abundantly. And to love forever is to live forever. Love is the doorway through which the human soul passes from selfishness to service. Love does that. The three most profound words in human speech is God is love. The Bible says it's beyond human comprehension. Love is more than the characteristic of, of God. God is love. He does not try to love you. He cannot help but love you because that's what he is. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God is love. It is a concert that surpasses the knowledge of men. No man can adequately describe it. No man can adequately understand it because the Bible says it surpasses knowledge. There are three kinds of love. Which kind do you have? There's the if kind of love. If you do this, I'll love you. If you succeed, I'll love you. If you come up to my expectations, I'll love you. The because kind of love. I love you because you're intelligent. I love you because you have money. I love you because you're beautiful and you're handsome. And then there's the in spite of kind of love, God's love. I love you in spite of your failures. I love you in spite of your miserable past. I love you in spite of your weaknesses and your faults. God's love, I loved you, faults, failures, and all. When God saw you through the eyes of love, he was looking at your potential. He was not looking at your past. Those of you who are going through indescribable circumstances, when you see God and God sees you, lift up your heads and rejoice. The best is yet to be. Every battle you go through, every heartache you endure, every tear you shed makes the love of God richer and purer in your life. People will stop loving you. Husbands will abandon their wives and wives will abandon their husbands without cause. Parents will abandon their children. Man's love will fail you, but the love of God will never fail you. God the Father loves you with an everlasting love. He will never give up on you. He will always be there when you call. He will put his arms around you. He will heal you. In the darkest night, he will whisper, I am with you. Be bold, be strong. I will never leave you nor forsake you to the ends of the earth. But the mark of Christianity is being to love the unlovable. That's the love of God. And you can't do that unless the love of God is in you. Love is not what you say. Love is what you do. You're not living until you discover the love of God. And when you find it, let it baptize you. Explode in your life and it will bring to you a personal growth and development and spiritual prosperity you didn't know a human being could have.